Hi, I'm Miss Doyle and I will be having the water, I will be teaching the water cycle to my second grade classroom. And this is a center that I have designed, that I have set up uh, for my students after we have gone over uh, the, each phase and what they transition to uh, in the water cycle. So I'm just gonna kinda go over um, what I have uh, what what I've uh, created from my trifold poster. So I just basically this covers um, little inf little bitty fun facts and fun information that covers what clouds, rain, and snow. Just basically um, indirect uh, indirect knowledge that goes into uh, a water cycle. And uh, to the right. I have from step one, step two, step three, basically what my students will be creating when they are in this, um, when they are in this, the center. Uh, they will, step one, uh, ice cubes on top of plastic cups. Step two, 15 minutes later, then they would observe. Step three is the final results. And I will get back to that a little bit more later in my discussion, but uh, this is basically step by step for my students to uh, refer back to refer back to if they're needing help or they're struggling. In the center of my um, of my poster, I have, I'm sorry, I have um, just little fun facts. So when uh, students are observing and, and uh, you know, tend to get bored easily or want to look up, they can look up and, and catch some fun, interesting facts such as uh, that and, and this on, on each side of, of uh, the water cycle and I want to talk a little bit more about uh, what I have uh, in the middle of my trifold which is the water cycle and in each transition and the water cycle uh, represents uh, makes up of four cycles which is evaporation condensation precipitation and accumulation which is also better known as collection so um, the water cycle really is the Sun heats up water and rivers and and lakes and turns it into water vapor stream the water vapor then leaves the rivers lakes or ocean and goes into the water this is called evaporation water vapor in the air gets cold and changes back into liquid to form clouds this is then called condensation when the clouds are full and heavy with water it comes back to earth in the form of rain, hell, or sleep. This is known as precipitation. Then it transforms into collection, which is also uh, labeled on here as accumulation. A collection is a, a precipitation collected in, collected from oceans, lakes, uh, rivers, and streams. And this is a little mini lesson of what pretty much consist the four, uh, four stages that consist uh, in, in the water cycle. And of course, I would go over in, in, in great detail the uh, with my class previously before, before even entering into the center. And I just wanna talk about what a lab we would be doing pretty much. So my lab consists of, let me zoom in closer. I would have a cup and this is uh, to fill the uh, the cup up with uh, warm water, with warm water, and I do have some water here, but I would leave, uh, I would have bottled water that's kind of room temperature, a little bit warmer if it was sitting in my car. Uh, three ice cubes, clear wrap, and um, rubber band uh, to go over the cup, and this is um, observation sheet that I would have at e at the center, and it just says, or it just has a uh, for information to take down for the students uh, to to observe their observe their observation in drawing one, their observation after 15 minutes, and their final observation um, and predictions and and just kind of uh, what they've gathered and collected from this. So let me begin by let me scoot this over. Let me begin by filling my cup a quarter full with water. I'm just gonna kind of fill it like that. And I am going to set plastic wrap over, just to sew, and bear with me please, cause I'm gonna kind of do this with one hand. Okay, 
then the student would then place, once they've placed the water uh, in, the, in the glass, quarter cup full, they're going to place the plastic over the cup and a rubber band to tightly secure it. And then what they would do is then grab uh, three cubes of ice, which is what I am going to do. So we'll just set that there. I'm sorry. And set that there. And let me try to get one more on there. So I would give my students each um, three, three um, cubes of ice and uh, just sit there and let them begin to observe what's going on. What's going on? What's happening? Is the cup feel warm? Is it changing? Just neat stuff like that and have them look at it. And I would want them to come over and for example, um, drawing one observation, I would want my student to uh, basically, it, it explains pretty much quarter cup of warm water uh, was poured into a clear jar. The top was sealed with a three layer, with, with a clear wrap, three ice cubes were placed on top of plastic and just have the student observe what they see so far. Okay, then I would let 15 minutes go by and um, just continue to watch it, see how it's doing, and um, I let let I would let 15 minutes go by. Give that. I'm gonna stop the video here, and um, just kind of wait 15 minutes and time it on my clock for video purposes. But of course, students would um, would would continue to 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 just view it and, and take in their take in what they're what they're viewing and their predictions. And again. Um, I would come back here and they can there is a picture for them that I have set up so they know what to expect or they know what they're doing it, it basically it's a guide it is a guide to help uh, students uh, follow along follow along and, and and make sure they're on the right track so I'm going to pause the video here and pick back up in 15 minutes 